It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. All eyes are on Cooper Cup. He went well over 100 yards a week ago and found his way to the end zone. It's the Ravens and the Buccaneers on Thursday night. On the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium, just north of downtown Tampa. Tonight, we begin week eight with a good matchup for you here between the Baltimore Ravens and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Alongside Charles Davis up here in the booth, I'm Brandon Gordon, and this is going to be fun. Uh, at least these offenses, they're explosive, especially running the football. Folks, we have two of the top three rushing attacks in the NFL set to go toe-to-toe -to -toe here. And this one, I think, will resemble a track meet at times because with all the running we're going to see, if these backs whip off a couple of big runs in the early going, that could really key this ball game. This is going to be exciting to watch unless you're a defender trying to put one of those guys on the ground. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. This one fielded at the five. And able to get this out to the 25. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. Leading them out, Trey Lance, now in his second season out of North Dakota State. And it'll be interesting to see pretty early in this one exactly where his head is because the best quarterback shake off performances like he had last week. Way too many interceptions. Didn't throw a touchdown pass. Team lost the game. Let's see if he can bounce back and get things going in the right direction. He'll be trying to forget those three picks, as you noted. First carry for James Conner. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Next to receivers, are spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Lance looking to throw it. To Connor on the check down. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. The Bucs at four and three, a game over 500. The Charles, they were losers last time out. What do you think they need to do differently here? Well, I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but the attitude has to be what's done is done. Let's move on. Put that one behind them, galvanize themselves, and go forward and get a win in this one. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Throwing now is Lance. Being chased, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Now Lance. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Got the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. 
51 yards on the punt there. And the Ravens, they'll take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by the second-year man from the Ohio State University, Justin Fields. He had the numbers of a game last week that if you win, you talk about him being a gritty guy, managing the game, getting it done. But they lost. So obviously, two interceptions, one touchdown pass, that's not going to be good enough. Got to get that changed around. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The numbers for him from a week ago. 18 carries, 62 yards. And now that he's playing a Thursday night game short week, you know he spent a lot of time in the trainer's room in the cold tub trying to get his legs back for this game. From the 22, Fields. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. Seven yards there at a first down. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? It's a who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night. Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. And in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. And it's caught. Oh, and it's a fumble. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Sheets, a highlighted turnover margin because we, we remember they turned it over four times last week. So another one here in the first quarter. This isn't the way they want to go. No, not even close. And, and it's not something they even imagine because the amount of time that we know that they spend in practice talking about what they need to get done, working on it, showing them how to take care of the football, and emphasizing what it means in terms of winning, they are they got to just be puzzled right now that they're not taking care of the ball better. A run with counter on first down, going to get about five. Second and five coming up. He was tackled at the 27 yard line. A gain of five brings up second and. Connor going to get it again on second down. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And a short gain here down to the 22. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. So on fourth down, on comes the Buccaneer kicker, Matt Gay. From the left hash, this from 39. Gay's kick is good. And the Bucs take a 3-0 lead. So the fumble recovery had not set up an ideal field position, but they can muster only three points out of it. Yeah, when you're able to force turnovers, especially when it results in field position like they had, you really want to make it hurt. Here, they take the field goal. That's definitely not what they were hoping for. No return here for Wilson. It's a touchback. It'll come out to the 25. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And they come into this one off the loss over the weekend. But you say if you're going to play a Thursday night game, this is the week to do it. It certainly is because you get right back out there. You don't have time to dwell on things. And look, your game plan is going to be a little more limited, but so is theirs. So that's when you just appeal to your top players. Guys, you make plays in this one, we out-execute them. We can walk away with a win. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Fields. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. 
But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now it's Fields. Uh, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. This offense line has struggled. In fact, when we sat down with the coach, he said, it's been in tatters lately. They allowed six sacks in their last game. Just gave up another one right there. In tatters, so it sounds a little bit like this right now. Exactly. It's like that paper being ripped. And right now, they've got to find a way to get it back together. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Play action. It's Fields. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Throwing on third down, Fields. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. for this team because number one you throw the short game until they stop it and if they're not going to stop you keep throwing it occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game also if they start to creep up start to pressure receivers now you go over the top take it deep and now you get some of those big shots downfield just a yard on the pickup there and it'll bring up a second and nine they'll give it to Barkley off the option play Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. Here's Fields. Complete. Smith has it. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 21. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. First down carry for Barkley. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. 40 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. And they'll try the action on first and goal. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Barkley inside handoff. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. This has been a long drive. You gotta figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? From the gun, here's Fields. And he's gonna be taken down, sacked back around the 18 yard line. Carl Nassib shooting in and taking him to the ground. Well, it's up to how teams are so competitively mashed, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. 
The kick by Gold is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. They had it first and goal. Three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound great. It sounds a little counterintuitive. But you run out of space to run the deep route, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, there's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Three, three, a tight one after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football as they've got it second down and 11. Shotgun now for Lance. That's into the hands of Donovan Peoples-Jones. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Rolling to his right. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Here's Lance. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Tyson Alulu gets in there and drops it. He was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. The Bucks on third down, just one for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. And Lance now to throw. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. No surprise to see him running again here as something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, What's to stop me from going for a thousand? This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Lance to throw it. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And they wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. He's one of the bigger receivers in the game, CD, and his size that time certainly helped against double coverage. Yeah, you're still at a little bit of a disadvantage when you're going against multiple defenders when they're trying to double you and sometimes triple you. But you're exactly right with his build. He could minimize that disadvantage, and he more than held his own and hauled that one in right there. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. And all the way down inside the five to the four. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Just picking up yardage and bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up for the first and goal. The kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. Connor is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Once again, it's Connor. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Lance going to throw. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Devontae Parker. 
His second touchdown on the season. And the Buccaneers have taken the lead. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead is now 10 to 3. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And Devontae Parker able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Taking it about the one. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. Just a lone field goal for him so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Field's going to keep it once more. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. There's the athleticism of Tyus Bowser on display, wrapping him up, no problem. Well, sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion, and I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. On second down, here's Barkley. They'll get a couple yards back, but not more than that. They'll be left with 12 yards to go on third down. To throw his fields. And down he goes, a bucket air sack. And the corner blitz gets him that time as he goes down for a short loss. They were in the top five in sacks in the league coming into this one. That's their third one in this game. Obviously, pass rush has been a strength of this team all year long. And apparently, they're not satisfied with top five. They want to climb that ladder. Yeah, I think it goes back to their offseason. They decided to make it a priority, and it's working out. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. heading back out. He had the touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll start here with a first and ten. To throw, it's Lance. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Connor up the middle. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. 
And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And they will take over first and 10. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll start by running the option to the right. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Fields now to throw. They'll get this one to cut, complete. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. And they run the option here on first and 10. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. Holding offense. Well, that fortunate time for the penalty there. That cancels out a positive play from this offense. Well, not to sound too trite or too accepting, but you and I both know it happens. You got to accept it and move on. Yardage, you got to get back. Focus on the next play and move on. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. But that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. Throwing on second and long. Fields. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Call it a loss of five. A big save to bring up third down. Charles, not to point fingers, but how much of this goes on the shoulders of the offensive line? Well, look at the six sacks last week. That's the fourth in this game. Definitely the bulk of it does go on the offensive line. That's what they're tasked with doing, keeping their quarterback upright and clean in the pocket. But I think they have to look at, okay, are we bringing in extra people? Is the ball out of the quarterback's hands quick enough? There are a few other factors that they have to look at to try and help out, but you're exactly right. It starts with the O-line. The Ravens on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and forever. Back to throw, Fields. Under pressure, they got him again. Milton Williams able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. The left-footed Kevin Huber set to punt it away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And that will come the offense as they take over. So here are the Bucs to take over on offense. They were losers last week to Carolina, but they've got the lead here as they begin this drive first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Lance, they'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryerby. It'll be a game of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Our score, 10 to 3, with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. Reminder coming up in a couple of minutes time. We'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman, the coach in our EA Sports studios. They'll have a look back at the next-gen stats from this first half of action. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And Lance again here on second and ten. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. Lance going to try and throw on third down here. Forced out to his left. 
And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. They try to throw it on second down, but this one is incomplete. On third down, Barkley. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Here's Kevin Huber now as he's on to punt for Baltimore. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. This is one of the dangers of going for the punt block. And you know before you even call going for the block, it's a risk reward play. play. So many factors come into it. They went after it, and you know punters, what they do? They leave their leg up in the air, an extra count or two, hoping someone comes into contact. From the 50, here's Fields. And he's got Smith here. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Fields. To the right side, and he's got more complete. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. From the 36, Fields steps away to his left. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. And the Buccaneers will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting negative or otherwise and turn it into positives moving forward just over 30 seconds to go in the half they've got it first and 10 Lance looking to throw it screen pass to Connor the first down screen pass good for five A final shot before half for Lance. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. So we've hit halftime here in Tampa with a box out in front. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, guys, thanks very much. We'll get back with you shortly. But first, let's take a look at what's coming up this weekend around the NFL. Some great games coming up this weekend. The first coming over in London. An early start, though, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. The Broncos taking on the Jazz. Lots to look forward to in the late games as well. One of the best being up in Seattle, where we find the Seahawks taking on the New York Giants. And then finally, two American traditions converge. Halloween night and Monday night football. It's the Bengals and Browns from Cleveland. Next, a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Ravens. And they were able to have a little bit of success on the ground. The question will be, will they stick with it? Or will they be throwing more to try and regain this lead? 
Meanwhile, for the Bucks, they did even less on the ground as they've struggled to get the run game going. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through in the second half and take the lead? Well, I think the first thing they need to do is thank their defense for keeping them in this game. And, you know, I think the defense is saying back to them, why don't you guys focus on getting some first downs, put some drives together, give us a little bit of a break here. If we can get some rest, we'll play even better for you. And, oh, by the way, pay off a few of those drives with some points, too. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. They'll go option to the short side, and he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. The Bucks with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Fields. That's going to be knocked away and for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Lance. Looks for Parker, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. And the Bucs are going to take possession of the football. Wait a second. They declined the penalty? I'm as puzzled as you are, partner. I don't understand how any time you lose possession of the ball, yet you turn down a penalty that would give you possession back, Let's make this simple. Anyone who plays the game, take the football. Always take the football. And he's brought down at the 24 after a game of four. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Fields on third down. It's caught on the right side of Smith. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Up the middle with Barkley. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. The ball on the 8 still could get a first down technically. Second and 7. Now it's Fields. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and 7 following the incompletion on second down. Here's Fields. Sacked right around the 17. Tyus Bowser in there to get him. That is the sixth time that they have sacked him tonight. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational, CD. That is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through, and that'll bring him back within four. Well, the three points certainly helps, but 
And you feel like, Charles, at this stage of the game, when you force those turnovers, you need to start converting them into touchdowns. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised myself because I thought in this situation, they were thinking end zone or bust. Now they got to rely on their defense to get the ball back again for another opportunity to get six points. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Back now comes Tampa Bay. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. They start with a give to Connor. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Now during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. And Lance now to throw. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. So the completion gets him just a yard. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Here's Lance. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. With Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Looking to throw again on second down. Fields. Out of nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Flush to his right. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's the option. Run and right. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expecting to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, and he can't escape, and down he goes. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big 
sack with a loss of five. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Here's Kevin Huber now. On to punt for Baltimore. There's a very low line lift on it. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20 yard line. Roughing the kicker. Keep it. They got the lead here in the second half. That's the last penalty you want to commit. And they were getting the ball. Why are you going after the punter there? Just take the football and keep going. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. A handoff to Barkley on the option. And he went nowhere. He went backwards, back to the 33. That play unable to get started thanks to the defense of Quan Alexander. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Again, it's Barkley. And not much running room. Down to the 32. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Ah, uh, partner, you know what I'm going to say before I've been saying it. Yeah, you just cannot take a sack in that spot. You're exactly right. You can't take a sack in that spot. Potentially now, a three-point swing right there. Here's Kevin Huber now as he's on to punt for Baltimore. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Julian O'Quara able to get him for a loss of about three. But Brandon, sometimes I think when we watch games, we're actually watching a living museum because we're seeing the evolution of positions almost with each passing game. How about defensive ends nowadays and the way that they can run almost all the way across the field? It is unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, they're, they're so strong, but they're so lean, they can move so quick with those bodies. It's almost unfair. You're supposed to be able to know where a defensive end is supposed to be on every play. These guys flash so quickly, you're not sure where they're going to end up. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Lance looking to throw on third and two. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number... It's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Ravens, they'll take over. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and enter. I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try to get some points. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. 
One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Tampa. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Now Fields. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Here's Kevin Huber now as he's on to punt for Baltimore. Call that 49 yards on the punt. They do get seven back on the return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They begin on the ground here with Connor. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Two things to watch. First is strength and being able to break out of that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. On the draw, Connor. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Throwing his lance on third down. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. The drive will start with an option going left. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Field's going to keep it once more. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Fields. And that is incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with it. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Lance now on first down. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it, and he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. On second and inches. Lance, and he's got his man in stride, complete. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now Lance going to throw. And over the middle, this is Parker. Second down and four. Now here's the option play going left. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. 
For the offense on third down tonight, they're hitting at just 30 percent, three for ten. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Flushed out right, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple rushers break through to drop him for the seventh time this game. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out before next week. Seven sacks in one game. Yeah, and that's more than any quarterback should have to bear. And if this continues on, there will be another quarterback in the game because no one can stand up to this week after week. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of scald-out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well... I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. A handoff to Barkley on the option. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Let's see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff, and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Punting now is Huber as he sends it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. The Tampa Bay offense set to go again. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? Well, we're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. On second and nine, Lance eluding the pressure right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. Throwing now is Lance. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. Here's King. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Ravens offense back out there. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. And they run the option here on first and 10. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Fields now to throw. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, 
definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Fields throw complete to McBride. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. A handoff to Barkley. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. On first down, Fields. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Throwing again on second and ten. Fields. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Buccaneers defense holds and they get the football back. The oh, offensive nightmare there. You go for it on fourth and the play doesn't even really get to develop a sack. And it's so unfortunate, too, because you think you've got something good called, but if your offensive line can't hold up, that's often the result. They find a way back to the quarterback. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, it's Connor. A strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Now we're going to get a timeout. Here's we've got an injured Buccaneer. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Victory formation now for the Buccaneers. Down to a knee they go. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Victory formation now for the Buccaneers. Down to a knee they go. One final kneel down here, and that should just about do it. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. 
So for the Buccaneers, the victory means they'll up their mark to five and three on the year. And now they'll have a few extra days before they face the Rams next week. Meanwhile, for Baltimore, the struggles intensify as they drop to two and six now on the year. And yeah, they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in New Orleans against the Saints. Thank you.